<laughs> Hello, good afternoon, friends. Okay, like seriously, I'm so happy to like you know be here this afternoon once again. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing fine. All right, the topic I want to talk about is usually like the area I like running away from, but like I really learned the truth that no matter how I run away from those areas, that somehow, somehow, God blesses people through those areas. So I'll try, I'll try as much as possible to still find out time to talk about, you know, one or two things about concerning marriage. Actually, I'm not a marriage counselor. It's a, just a disclaimer because I'm not a marriage counselor. But what I know is that in terms of human relationship, I've been into human relationship like and I've been married for a while, and I've been into relating with human a lot of wonderful, you know, brothers like. <laughs> men and i can say one or two things about them and i can also say one or two things about we women okay by the virtue of being a woman and also by the virtue of having wonderful friends in the women folks who i hear about their emotional responses so this topic is going to be in two parts like the first one i'll talk about will be relating to the woman while the second part will be another video who will be relating to man but i will make all the video at the same time here then post them one after the other so what i want to talk about is number one number one i want to uh, talk about to the women first okay and what i want to talk about is how you can communicate or speak to your husband without nagging <laughs> it's a very funny topic you see eh the issue is this eh like seriously when you you know in marriage for one thing or the other, you just notice that when you ask a man, like, what is it that you don't like about your wife, most of them will talk about nagging. She nags too much. She nags too... Like, seriously, I've, all, all the men I've encountered, like, including my own husband, like, seriously, I won't lie to you, most men will always say it, that the main problem they have with their wife is that the wife nag. So, like... My fellow women, that's why I'm here. See, you see this table I'm trying to shake this afternoon. <laughs> My head there on top. Like, seriously. What men call nagging is, you know, the way we express ourselves whenever, you know, we are high, whenever we are angry, whenever we are not pleased. And, you know, especially when we've said, like, one thing several times and it seems as if that thing did not get attention that you want. That's what the way we express ourselves, raise our voice, like, and try to, like, make our point known. That's what men call nagging. And usually, what it comes with is sometimes when you feel, you feel displeased, you shout, and all that. Try to express yourself like this thing is hooking me. Stop it. That is what is nagging. And actually, you see, men, our men actually, you know, have this ego that, you know, by the virtue of creation, and especially by the virtue of the way an African man is brought up, that he's the king in his own home. And let us be very, very sincere. From if you are, if you are a religious type, whether you are a Christian or you are a Muslim, you notice that yes, God has made a man the king of his home. Not because the woman is not important. The, of course, there is no home without a woman. So don't even go there thinking about, oh, does it mean I'm not important? This video is going to be a very long video. If you don't have data, postpone watching the video. So um, the man is created to be the king of his home. That doesn't mean there is no king without a community. There is no king without a home. You are the home. A woman, why a woman herself is the home herself? The man is created to be the king of his own. So sometimes men misunderstood what this kingship is all about. And they want to really feel that, yes, what makes them a king is that every decision they take in the house is what happens. So, they, they, you know, it brings a lot of problems. So when a woman is trying to air her own view, air her, her own view, or say something that is hurting her, the attitude of the man or the way the man is doing a particular thing that is hurting her, and the man is not responding, it makes her in a way that she raises her voice to talk and talk and that's why i'm here my my my, my wonderful women i've done tried this thing for for 10 years now may this year will be 11 years i've tried this thing you, you know they work no matter how you shout no matter how you try to raise your voice to shout to pass information to a man in a one meeting, it will just end up stressing your emotional life. It will just end up making you to develop high BP, and it just end up ruining, ruining the entire peace in the home. Trust me. You know they work. Any highway won't take shout out. In fact, at the moment you start shouting, start screaming, and you nag, that is the moment the man now takes advantage of it because he will now leave the original offense 
which is the one that committed the original offense is the one that committed it what will now be the matter that you people will be discussing is how you talk what you spoke to me what you said to me that is what this that is what usually happen and at the end of everything that matter will end you might you'll be dragging your own head you'll be trying to look for a way to dodge out of the matter at the end of everything you'll be the one that will apologize the communication the message you want to pass you didn't pass it so what i want to say is this what we intend to do is communication is hard it's really hard but i want you to know i've tried this so many times there is no anger that kills somebody if you do not express it i'm telling you there is no i've never seen any anger that he i didn't say bottle it up there's difference between bottling up anger that one is very dangerous because the day it will explode than immediately expressing anger in a harmful way okay so what i just i've just learned to do is this whenever i'm angry it's difficult i just try to walk away I try to even shout out to a, a different person. Like for someone like me, I know some of her because one thing with me is that when I'm saying something, I don't like saying something that is not visible. So the visible thing I do is that sometimes I can't even I can't even keep it to myself. I can't bottle this thing. I can't contain it. That's one of the reasons that when my brother died, eh, is as if a part of me. Because that my, my brother was like another a part of me that is a shock absorber. Most times, instead of me to express in the way I'll be harmed. Because he has already known me and I feel he understands me, I tend to find a way to express myself to him and keep calm. And most times, you notice that by the time we now come amicably to bring this issue on the table and trash it, I will begin to see reasons why my husband maybe acted the way he did. And I will just thank God that, oh, see, I didn't share. But initially, there has been a time that little issues even brought up involve other family members because of the way the anger was expressed. Not that what I was saying was not wrong, was wrong. Okay, though it wasn't right. But the manner which it is said can trigger a lot of violence in the home and harm the home front. And again, aside this, remember that the children that are young, if you're already blessed with children, are there. And, you know, the, the violent nature or the way that the home is placed under tension during the period that you nag and the man now gets angry and starts acting and there is action. If it's a home that is violent, then violent and all those kind of... The children are being harmed. So what I encourage every woman is this. Listen, what you want to say is communication, okay? You can talk, talk, or when you nag, you just talk, 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 but you do not communicate. But when you want to communicate, just find a way. Just find a way to calm down. Now, I must say something. As I'm saying this thing now, somebody will be saying, but I've said this, I've calmed down several, this thing doesn't work. Yeah! Sometimes, I will tell you, I will tell you, my fellow women, sometimes even when you calm down, I've calmed down severally, maybe to tell my husband about a particular thing, but he's not yet convinced. That's why you need to understand this. The marriage is hard work. Marriage is hard. Like, say, also, the marriage is CVK. Marriage is hard. That's why you need to understand that, number one, you and your husband, you are from different backgrounds. It is not, even you and your siblings, that one parent, one father, one mother, called not short in a, the same environment, you have different attitude and you even hate the attitude of your sibling. Check your husband. That might be that maybe if from his own upbringing and all that, the way you see things might not be the way he sees things. So see what you do. See what you do in those areas. Drop your point like me. I've learned, I don't stand in defense. If this is my stand about this issue, okay, even if my husband do not want to understand it at that moment, I still drop, this is my stand. Darling, this is my stand. This is why I say so. I drop out my reason and I leave. A man does not like to be forced. See, anyhow, we won't take dwarf. Do you get anyhow you want to drag anything you want to drag in this world? A man, what the worst thing a man hates in this life is that he wants to feel that you are controlling him. He wants to feel that yes, in our control, yeah, you are controlling him, and you want everything you say to be the one that will happen. No, leave him. Leave, allow his own heart, to, conscience, and things to fold and work on himself. So what I do to myself, I just drop. I say, look at, see, this is my stand. This is my stand. This is the reason why this is my stand, and this is the reason why this is not my stand. Once I finish saying it, I leave it. Most times, when he now sees the disadvantage of not doing all those things. He will now start saying, oh, oh, you told me this thing. I wish I knew I would have listened. So when it happened the first time, second time, third time, and you drop your own point there, okay, and the man sees the disadvantage of not listening to you two or three times, that's what marriage is experienced. He will gain the experience to reason with you. So another thing again is this. There are also some women, someone that met me that actually inspired this video. Now make me say that, do you know that several times, his own decision will now put the family in trouble and we will now come back and face trouble together. Yeah, that was what the lady told me. And the thing really touched me. She, had, she gave me the instances where she lost, uh, or the family lost some opportunities, you know, that she wasn't happy and she was bitter about. So I now decided to drop this point. There's something I do in my home. See, that's why you are not done, D. 
Even when the Bible says that you should submit to your husband, does not mean that you should be done. Did remember that the same Bible says that what? Say that a wise woman woman builded her home while the fool destroyed it with her hands. Like let me give you two uh, two instances. There's something there was the time in, in the family that I know we needed a fridge. That was when the family was very young. We had a fridge in the home in Abuja, but in school there, I know we needed a fridge. So my neighbor, if my neighbor see this video, he, she will remember. My neighbor called me and said, neighbor, see, this fridge, I won't marry. I don't want to carry this fridge to my husband's house for some reasons. I want to buy a new fridge. Please, I want to sell this fridge. And this fridge, eh, this fridge is really very good. I want to give this fridge to you. Like, just I want to give it to you so that I'll be happy that I gave it to someone that is close to me. So that time I know that we can be able to buy that fridge. When I told my husband, I said, no, 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 that is not it. It's not it now, but it's not it. It's not a, It's not what we need. That is not what we need now. Like I now use my savings, paying my neighbor the little I have, collected the fridge to complete it later. Later, 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 later. My husband came back and said, Child, darling, no, that fridge you told me about, is it still available? <laughs> I just laughed. I said, Yes, my love, let me call her. Ah, it's available. <laughs> and at the end of everything, I said, ah, so he gave me the money and even gave me extra money. Not knowing that the fridge we are talking about was already in my house in Abakaliki. So what am I trying to say? Sometimes that's why I encourage women to have multiple streams of income. You can see an opportunity. Initially, that's why you help meet. A help meet. You are the one that most times when you come into marriage, you need to understand the person your husband is. Understand his weaknesses. And don't rub his weaknesses in his face. Leave him and do that cover up. If he's a man that is grateful, you appreciate the fact that you do cover up for him. There are a lot of times that I have to try and cover up for my husband. Like, seriously, that is what makes you a good woman. Don't, you don't need to rub it on his face. At that moment that, like, I've seen, it's, 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 I saw a land that will benefit a family. And I know I have some, I was okay. While I'm trying to convince my husband, please hold this one. We'll get money. Sometimes, if I didn't, like, try to block you know, block people from taking that thing. Before we come back, that thing has been taken. So I always keep a spare, a spare change that I used to, you know, secure that thing while trying to convince my husband. Because my own husband, one of the challenges I used to have with him is that he doesn't take decision fast. He's, like, I'm trying to share this thing with you. Just, he doesn't take decision fast. And that has advantage. There are times that I'm too fast. God will use him. He will draw me closer and draw me out of trouble. And there are times that he's too slow. God will use me and push him. So that we will lose that thing. It has happened and it has helped my home. So what you need to do in the in the family that will help is understand that this, oh, this now, okay, this one is my husband's weakness. I have my own weakness that the man might be covering up and nobody knows about it. So what you have to do is not find a way to be covering that weaknesses so that it will not cause a problem. Okay? And be wise, okay, to know how it will not cause a problem. But do not rub it on the face of the man. And know that whatever, the nagging you are nagging, you are trying to communicate. And when you nag, you do know what? You do not communicate. So try to communicate. Even if he did not hear, even if he did not hear, try to do what? Communicate. If he communicates and he didn't hear, leave it for him with time, he will hear. So I wish you all well, okay? So what I've tried to say, in the summary of what I've tried to say is how to communicate to your husband without nagging. Remember I said, that one point I made is this. Remember that when you are speaking, the essence of speaking is to communicate. When you nag, you talk without words, without communication. That is number one point. Number two point is painful sometimes that the person you are trying to communicate, even when you try to be as calm as possible, call the person when the person is sleeping, when the person is happy, and the person did not still listen to you. Yeah, people must not buy all your views, even when they are right. The same thing applies to husband and wife relationship. Allow him to away your point and leave it, okay? All right. And also, my mentors too, for some of us that believe in prayers that are Christians, I don't know everybody that is listening to this video believe in prayers. If you also believe in prayers, those weaknesses of your spouse, also try to put it you know, place it and ask God that God should have his way and take it over and take, you know, and take over, take it over so that it will not harm the family. So you can also remember to put him in prayer. But now, prayer for me, prayer is not really the main thing. It's just for you to understand that in human mechanism, in human way, humans function, people are usually right in their own ways. And your husband might not take you, you will not definitely not take your advice. The same way you might not take everybody his own advice all the time, okay? Although, because of the place of submission, you will now try to say, okay, no problem, I will do it because you want me to do it, but not really because you want to do it in your heart. So I wish all of you well. Remember that when you nag, when you shout, when you scream, you are just what talking and setting the home ablaze. But when you try to communicate, no matter how hard it is, even if person did not hear, you are satisfied. Even there's this joy you have in your heart that you've done your best. Even your children will be seeing you that you've done your best. I wish you all well. Okay. 
I wish you all when I wish you peace in your husband's house. Okay, continue to do your best. There is no home that it is completely perfect. Okay, even the, those that you think that oh, come to social media to post. Every home has its own challenges. The same challenge you are facing is the same challenge that the other people are facing in their home. The only thing I'm against is this: when you are facing violence or your life is at stake or you are you are under abuse. That is what I know that you need solution. But if it's about normal difficulties of marriage, now just know that marriage on its own is hard work and is difficult. Continue to work it out god is going to bless you and give you guys reasons in your family to continue to be happy i am remind dr unique if you have not subscribed <laughs> please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can always get our exciting videos and if you're my return subscriber receive a hug no, 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 okay thank you so much you guys are the one that makes me look for comfortable and beautiful places to make a video thank you very much bye bye <laughs>